Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ryan Knows Tech from techinform.us. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. We're going to start the week off nice and easy here with two pieces of news from Apple. From uh, Apple, really. One of them, uh, the first one here, would be found on Apple.com, and it's about the iPhone 3G from AT&T. Previously, the iPhone, actually the 3GS, the iPhone 3GS 8 gig has been for sale from Apple and AT&T. $400 since the release of the iPhone 4. It's a little 8 gig. It's in black. It's a great deal if you don't want or can't afford an iPhone 4 for 100 bucks an 8 gig 3GS is a great phone. Well, uh, in order to compete with Verizon and the iPhone 4 and times have changed, prices have gone down, this device, the 8 gigabyte black iPhone 3GS is now for sale from 50 bucks and it ships within 24 hours. Very cool. $50, you can get an iPhone 3GS 8 gig. Not bad at all. Keep in mind, you could jailbreak this and not use it as a phone. So if you had a iPod Touch, it would be pretty easy to get this, a $50 8 gigabyte iPhone with a camera that would be very, very, very cool to have. And that's, of course, with a two-year agreement with AT&T. So uh, really great Really great news, really great deal from Apple.com, from AT&T. It's all over the place, and you can get yours anytime. So that's the first piece of information. The second one is still a um, – it has not been officially published. It's a draft. I'll be writing some more in it later, but I can't do that right now as I'm on a tight time limit at the moment. But uh, the restocking fees from Apple have been eliminated, and this has never really affected me, and probably a lot of you have never had this this problem. But if you were to buy something from Apple and then return it to the store – or probably online too, they're going to charge you a 10% restocking fee. So if you bought an iPhone for $50, you'd be paying about $5 to pay to take it back. Well, Apple has eliminated that, which is good news. I know companies such as Best Buy have done this over the past several months. So just a nice nice thing, because if when you buy a product, you're not happy with it, you take it back. And if they charge you to take it back, um, that is not a good taste in your mouth left uh, after dealing with the company. So it kind of leaves a better, laster, or possibly final uh, impressions on the company. So good news in both respects. I know I mentioned a couple channel updates here. Stick around if you're a hardcore follower. A um, couple channel updates. I mentioned I was going to be working with the Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac Suite when I came back from the holiday break. I will. I'm hoping to fit that in this week. Another thing I'm hoping to fit in this week would be the desk and media setup tour, which has been real popular on the channel. So my office is not done where I'd like it to be. I did hang that BMW poster up over there, over there, the framed BMW picture over the couch. I've got stuff on the wall still. There's work that needs to be done in here. Um, the media setup tour, I can pretty much do that whenever. I would like to wait for a day when there's a lot of light, though, because I don't have a whole lot of lights in that room, and I'd much rather wait until it's sunny outside, which, who knows, could be till May or something here in Ohio. So I'll wait for that, and I'd like to do the same in the office. So hopefully we'll have a day this week where the sun shines and I can record those earlier in the day when it's not dark out. So that, the Microsoft Office Suite iPhone 5, I had some requests to talk about that. I, I honestly think it's a bit too early for that. I'd rather wait until March, April to start talking about the iPhone 5, maybe before that. But uh, leave some comments below. If you have video requests, Ryan at techinform.us, I'd love to hear about those. I'll put them into my file I keep on my desktop. If you notice on the desktop here, vlog day 28, yeah, I've done 28 days of consecutive vlogs, personal videos of my daily life. If anybody's interested, annotation right here. It's all over the place. YouTube.com slash JRS vlog, V-L-O-G. That link is down below as well. So thanks for watching this video and putting up with my rambling. I'll be talking to you in tomorrow's video, probably starting that Microsoft Office 2011 suite or possibly going over the Verizon iPhone. That's something else we'll be talking about this week. So it's a busy week. Uh, who knows what will happen at the event in New York tomorrow. Unfortunately, I can't go, but I will be reporting about uh, whatever we hear most likely. Uh, as well, the live stream will be tomorrow night from se for 7, no, no, 8, that's right, 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Ustream.tv slash Tech Inform Us. The website, you looked at it for a few minutes, it's techinform.us. And then my Twitter, uh, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz, link below. And then the business Twitter, twitter.com slash techinformus, link below as well. Thanks for watching. Speak with you guys tomorrow.